Yellowstone National Park officials have just said they're expecting up to 8 inches of snowfall, which will cause the majority of roads and entrances into the park to be closed off. Yellowstone National Park rangers said the following. The exception is the road from the north to the northeast entrances, which will remain open weather permitting. End quote. The closing of some of the park's entrances isn't the only news. The rising and movement of magma beneath Yellowstone has long captured people's attention, with the United States Geological Survey and the University of Utah coming forward and saying that new fractures and magma flows are constantly being detected across Yellowstone, and they have to study these closer in order to see how the park and chambers are behaving, and whether anything needs to be done. The United States Geological Survey said the following on their website. Yellowstone is underlain by two magma bodies. The shallower one is composed of rhyolite, a high silica rock type, and stretches from 5 km to 17 km, or 3 to 10 miles beneath the surface, and is around 90 km or 55 miles long, and around 40 km or 25 miles wide. The chamber is mostly solid, with only around 5 to 15% melt, and extends from 20 to 50 kilometers, or 12 to 30 miles beneath the surface. Even though the deeper chamber is around 4.5 times larger than the shallow chamber, it contains only 2% melt. End quote. University of Utah seismologists have also discovered a reservoir of molten rock, saying that it's around 12 to 28 miles beneath the Yellowstone supervolcano. The scientists said that it measures over 40 miles across, and is directly connected to the Yellowstone hotspot plume. Other studies suggest that it goes down 1,800 miles into the Earth's core. The team at the University of Utah said the following. The deeper magma reservoir would fill the 1,000 cubic mile Grand Canyon 11.2 times, while the previously known magma chamber would fill the Grand Canyon 2.5 times. End quote. Researchers are constantly learning more about this massive chamber, and have said that further studies showed them that the reservoir is actually two and a half times bigger than they previously thought. The team behind the study was Utah seismologists Fan Chi Lin, Sin Hua Hang, Robert Smith and Brandon Schmanit at the University of New Mexico. The team said the following. For the first time we have imaged the continuous volcanic plumbing system underneath Yellowstone, saying that no equipment has allowed them to do this, noting that these reservoirs and recent activity has shown that the area is very much alive. They said that every year that passes, the chances of the volcano erupting increases by 0.014%. Previous researchers who worked at Yellowstone have said that the land around the park often increases and decreases in size, saying that huge amounts of magma sometimes flows into the Yellowstone system. As I've mentioned before, the land around Old Faithful is of particular interest right now, as many have noticed that the land is bulging outwards, leading some to wonder whether a huge amount of magma has recently flooded into the area. Yellowstone officials have openly admitted that magma is moving around the Yellowstone system. Researchers who have been keeping a close eye on the Yellowstone data have said that this year alone, there's been a lot of movement around the park in regards to magma flow. Ground fractures are opening up, and local residents have reported more earthquakes than normal. The red lines show the uplift underneath Old Faithful, and it appears to be getting bigger every month. Those who have seen the photographs have said that there's an obvious uplift that's going on beneath this area, but as online users have pointed out there's been no comments from the United States Geological Survey. What many people aren't aware of is that the world's volcanic activity has dramatically increased. Volcanoes from all around the world are erupting faster and more frequently than before. On top of this, earthquakes are also on the rise. So why is this happening? As of right now, researchers have said there isn't a concrete answer, and that more studies need to be carried out. Data has shown us that in the 20th century alone there was over 3,500 volcanic eruptions. That works out as around 30 eruptions per year. 
not just this but earthquakes are also on the rise. In 2018 alone, there were over 14,000 earthquakes across the globe, and researchers and scientists have suggested that the world could be preparing for some kind of world-changing megatremor. If this does happen, it's said it will have the power to split up continents. The Yellowstone supervolcano lies close to a number of sensitive fault lines all across the west coast. It's believed that this massive amount of pressure released in one moment, coupled with the massive amount of force generated via the super eruption, will create a domino effect of seismic activity that could lead to fault lines completely sliding in opposite directions, causing a number of massive earthquakes all across the west coast. The earthquakes would be some of the largest ever to have been recorded, and would only lead to further damages of roads, highways, cities and nearby constructions, completely blocking off those affected from reaching the help they would need. Another piece of news to come out of Yellowstone last year was that over 50 seismic trackers picked up tremors. It's also known that the Yellowstone National Park is sitting on top of a hotspot, and this means that every so often magma starts to rise to the surface. Rather worryingly, scientists have said that should there be an earthquake, it would take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction is triggered. Researchers said that when Yellowstone erupts, it will completely change our world. So what do you make of these interesting Yellowstone announcements and discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below. It'd help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.